Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode and if you remember that we discussed a different type of scopes in the previous episode. In this episode we will be covering the function scope. So in function scope labels are the only identifiers with a function scope. Labels are identifiers that are followed by a colon. For example if you remember the switch statements we had the cases and these cases are called labels and these labels they have the scope of a function scope that means that labels can only be used anywhere in the function in which they appear but they cannot be referenced outside of the function body and labels are hidden in the function in which they are defined this principle of hiding information is a mean of implementing the principle of least privilege, which is a fundamental principle of good software engineering. In the context of an application, the principle states that code should be granted only the amount of privilege and access that it needs to accomplish its designated task, but no more than that. And that's why we have labels. As we said before, the scope of a label is function scope. And once again, function scope means that labels can be used anywhere in the function in which they appear, but they cannot be referenced outside of the function body. Stay tuned as we go into more scope rules in the coming episodes.